Hey, what's up you guys? Today is Wednesday, September the 3rd. And today I'm coming to you with a unboxing, I guess I can say. So I am a part of Influencer. There is an app. Um, you can get on this web on this app and make you an account and all they ask you to do is review items um, It could be anything it could be from freaking toys to makeup to hair um, Electronics cell phones, whatever and they'll do like a um, survey And if you're a part of the survey, they'll send you a link and they'll ask you a couple of questions um, and if you get picked and you, they will send you some samples out and all they ask you to do is review them. So, I got picked for the Bobbi Brown um, makeup foundation. So, I got mine today in the mail. So, I just picked this up from the mailbox. Um, um, so, I just got this in the mail. So, I'm about to open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so like I said, this is the box from Influencer. I don't know if you guys can see that. But um, they sent me this, a couple of samples to try um, on my foundation, um, on my skin, sorry, excuse me, and to write a review on the Influencer app and to tell them um, how I like it or dislike it, my, you know, my opinion on it or whatever. So let's get into it. Let's open this box. Okay, so the first thing that I see is this card. It says Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation SBF 15, available at Sephora. These are the samples that they sent me. I guess there's a lot of foundation in these, and I just don't know the shade. So let's open them up and find out what shade they sent me. So they sent me shade Cocoa Express, Espresso and cool chestnut but to me honestly they all look the same to me like i don't they don't look no different but let's see how they look outside of the bottle so i got my little wet beauty's blush beauty blender here so let's get into it um the first one i'm going to try is the cool chestnut c104 oh it has like little droplets that's pretty cool let me see i have not i have never worn bobby brown um foundation because i am a tart girl but let's see how this holds up on my skin okay it's very lightweight it blends in effortlessly it's a little dark for me and this is cool chestnut mm, I don't know what you guys think I mean it, it hides some of my circles underneath but I guess like if I was to apply this like a little bit heavier I think I would probably see um, a difference because this is buildable what you guys think I just think it looks really dark I don't know but that's just my opinion I could be wrong but I'm just looking at the mirror and the phone and it just looks a little dark compared to the rest of my face. But let's get into the other one. So that one was Cool Chestnut. So the next one I'm going to try is Cool Espresso. Side of my hand. Up a little bit. Now this one is a little bit more watery than the um, Cool Chestnut. Let's see. Now, this is really dark. No. Mm. I think this one is a little bit lighter. Actually, it is a lot lighter than the other side. Like, you can tell the difference. This is darker than this. So, I, this may be my shade. But... Yeah, this may be my shade because it's blending in effortlessly and it just looks like my regular skin tone. And it's when I say very light, like, oh my God, Bobby Brown, like y'all came out with something that's really light. Now, this is a medium coverage foundation. It's not full coverage, so it's not going to hide everything, but it's just going to even out your skin tone and make it look more natural. Um, And then this one is Espresso. 
So let's see how this one looks. Let me put this right here. Let's see how that looks. Ah, oh, that blended too. Okay. So guys, which one do you think? I think, honestly, I think the Espresso is probably the one I just put on. I think that one is more probably my tone. I mean, this blends in, oh my God. And it's a matte finish too. I like that. Um, even though I do have dry skin, I do like a matte finish. Um, but I do use a, a dewy, um, setting spray, if that makes sense. Like, cause I don't like to look too cakey, but I don't like to look too dewy either. So I guess I'm like in the middle, but that looks good. That looks good. I like how light it is. I like that it's buildable. Yeah, because I think that first one that I put on this um, cool chestnut, I think this is a little bit too dark. Between this one and this one, they look kind of almost the same. One's just a little bit lighter than the other. So this is espresso, and this is cool espresso. So I think the this is the cool espresso, and then this is the espresso. So I don't know. I don't. I think I'm the cool espresso. But I mean, I can inter interchange in between the both of these. Um, and it's a lot of product. I didn't think it was going to be this much product. But this looks pretty darn good. Um, I'm going to take a couple of pictures and see if the, it flashes back. If I can, um, if you can see the difference. But so far, like, this looks really nice. See how it goes. Um, some days that I don't want to wear full coverage, I would like to wear, like, a medium coverage to no coverage, um, foundation. I haven't really found, um, a medium coverage foundation, um, only because sometimes they look a little ashy for me. Um, so the simple fact that Bobbi Brown came out with, uh, I think it's, I think it's, like, 26 different shades, um, for their medium, um, light foundation, long skin long wear weightless foundation so they came out with i think it's 26 if i'm not mistaken no 42 available in 42 shades that are, are that are expertly clap calibrated to your undertone so sephora and test it out and let me know in the comments below which shade is your shade um i've never tried bobby brown so this is pretty awesome to me and I like the simple fact that they sent me some samples. Um, thank you, Influencer. This is a complimentary, um, I guess, review box. So, All right, you guys. So I have been going all day. Um, I have been outside. It's been scorching hot here in Ohio. But um, so far, like, the makeup is not that bad. Um, it is a little sticky. Like, I feel like it's tacky on my face. But it's very, very lightweight. I can um, say that. Honestly, I forgot that I had makeup on. And um, it, was, it looks pretty good to me. It looks pretty even. Um, with it being medium coverage, it lasted all day. I kind of like it. Um, I never, you know, tried a medium coverage. I always wanted to, but um, the pictures, I looked at my pictures, there's no flashback. Um, there's no like these um, ashy undertones to this um, foundation and I'm liking it so far. I think if I want to wear something more natural, like I can see myself wearing this foundation to work with no problem like i don't mind getting up in the morning and putting this on like this would be something like an everyday natural look especially when i'm going for that look so bobby brown you've done a good job and thank you influencer for sending me these free samples to try from bobby brown once again they sent me three samples i got cool espresso espresso and cool chestnut so my tone i mean my um color i guess <laughs> is cool espresso so i hope you guys go to sephora they have 42 different shades that you can try and pick pick and choose from 
if you don't um want to um buy the foundation um i know alta and sephora both they both offer samples so you can always ask for a sample they'll put in like a little clear container you can take home and try it yourself and then go from there so thank you guys for tuning in hopefully i get to see you in the next video y'all enjoy the rest of your day bye